Don't want to mislead This is all you need Be your everything Yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it You're pressing on my body Babe, let me tell you something What's up guys, Nick Fox here. So today I'm coming at you with a little tutorial. I'm gonna show you two things, one for absolute beginners, anyone can do it, and one for a little bit more advanced, just for like people who like sleight of hand. It's not really a magic trick you would do out on the street, it's more just something you do if you just enjoy playing around with cards and you wanna show your friends something cool. The other one though, for everyone else, is a magic trick, so don't worry, I got you guys. Okay, so the first thing that I did, super easy. It requires a little bit of sleight of hand, but it's, it's easy sleight of hand. It's not really difficult. Um, make sure you don't have super dry, like slick hands. Um, you might want to wet them a little bit first, just so you can get some grip on the card. But you notice how I have the card a little bit up. I don't have it down here. I side it up a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm touching the bottom of my palm right here to the card below it. So when I do it, I'll show you a little view here. I'm pulling the card out and then sliding it on top of the other card. Okay? So, again, I'm here, put my palm on top of it, slide it out, right back on top. Okay? Just practice doing that a couple times. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Eventually, it'll be really smooth. So, you're right here, it's already on top. Now, you don't want to come here and pull down. Because if you listen, you hear it pop out. You don't want the people hearing it. You want it to be nice and smooth. So it's straight back and straight forwards. It's, it's automatically going to come straight on top. Now the rest of it is literally just you take your pointer finger and push it in. So now it looks like it's gone. When it's the second from the top. So the whole thing together is I'm here. And as soon as I start bringing uh, my hand back up that has the other card in it, I'm pushing this one back down in so it's even with the other cards. That way when I'm back on top, it's gone. So slide it up, put my palm right here, bring it back, push in, open your hand. You could do it, you can reveal it however you want. I like just opening my hand afterwards and then sliding my hand back. It just gives it a weird like mystical effect kind of. But uh, all you really got to do though is you can come here and it's gone, you know? You could even uh, do what I like to do when I'm doing stream magic and I'll actually palm it the first time. I'll come here and like make it obvious that I just literally just picked it up and I'm like, okay, it's gone. And then everyone, every single time I'll be like, dude, no, it's in your hand. Unless they're really being nice, then you can kind of like make fun of them for it and be like, no, 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 guys, you got to go hard on me, okay? If you see something, point it out. So... You joke around with them, you do that, and then you say, I I've been practicing this, can you guys just let me do it again? Here, watch. So I'm here, and then you actually do the move. So, and then I'm here, and I take the card, and is that any better? And they're like, yeah, it's a little bit better. And you say, well, well, how about now? And it's gone. Okay, so once you get to here, you got a few things you could do. One, you can just end it right there, you're done. Although you do have a card stuck face up. Or, you can literally do the exact same thing again, although you can't start it like this, because they're going to see the card. So, what I do is I put my hand and I slide it up as the move. So I slide it up, and then I put my palm on the bottom, and then it reappears. I just realized it's been very bright this whole time, so I'm going to try and fix that. I take my fingers, I slide it up, and then I place my palm right back on the side. That was a bad angle, but again, I'm here. It's gone. Now, just do it again. And you can make it reappear however you want. So you could do it just normal, open your hand, 
or what I like to do is I'm here and I wave my hand around. It's a little bit harder, so once you get really good at it, then you can move to this. But I actually pick it up in a palm and I bring my hand around showing nothing there and then I place it on top like that. Now from there you can do whatever you want. There's another little thing. If, if you're not even comfortable doing this, don't worry, I still got something for you because when you end up here with the card like this, when I shake it at the end, I don't really like the Queen of Clubs. So I just shake it and it changes to a different card. So basically, it's really easy actually. Um, what I do is I just have two cards right here. I take my finger and I just rotate it while I'm shaking it. So I'm here, shake it, there you go. And you can just drop it, pick it up, and you're good. Done. So, I'm gonna show you that one more time. I'm here, I'm gonna make the three disappear. It's gone, okay? Then I wanna bring it back. And now, literally, if you do it this way, it's nice, because you can literally just pick it up right from here, because it's already on top of the other card. So you can literally just pick it up and shake it and change it. And you can do whatever you want. You make it disappear, blah, blah, blah. All right, so for the more advanced people, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. So you tell them to stop wherever you want. So this is stop here, flip over the card. It's the Joker, all right? Now it's at the bottom. All right, so basically for this, you need to know how to do the Cardini change. So I'm here and it's gone, but really it's at the bottom. It's funny because you're actually doing the exact same thing, but from the middle of the deck. So I'm here. I flip the card up, and without this on top of it, I'm, ba I'm literally doing the exact same thing. Bring it to the bottom. But I'm using my other hand to cover it. So I'm here, four of spades. Right when I put this over to where it covers it, you can actually see it for a split second sometimes. I pop it out, then place this on top. So I'm ready right here, and then I just bring it to the bottom and finish it up. So fast again, I'm here show it to you guys that was a little sloppy but it's down here right here that's another thing you want to avoid so I'm here you don't want to do it too late because if you do listen you can hear it you can hear the card hitting the bottom of the other pack while it's coming through so you want to finish the whole move before this pack touches here so I'm here Right there. And you also want to work on the angle here too, because obviously you can't go here and do it, because they're going to see you. It's just going to look like you did something, even if you're really fast. So if you go the opposite direction to where your hand's covering it, it's very good. And then another little thing you can do is, once you're here, you can say, okay, card's gone, right? No, it's not. Woo! All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, if you learned something from this and you want to see more videos like this, then drop a comment down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as usual, and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.